take it with the programming. I'm Chase Singer. I'm Captain America. And along with me is Bill Grundler. Wolverine. We're going to talk about open announcements. Wait, wait, wait. The open? We're going to talk about the open? We're going to talk about open announcements. What they were. The uh, playing King for the Day. Have you ever played this game? This, this is like an old red shirt game we used to play at the dinner table along with uh, top four Mount Rush moment. Uh, Mount Rushmore concepts. It's uh, a bit of the same thing, but have you ever is like heard that phrase or been uh, given that opportunity? I think that way all the time, dude. All right. Every day, I'm king Every for day. a day. King for a day, I would do this. King for a day. And what we're here to do is we're going to talk about Given all the power in the world and all the time in the world and not worrying about logistics and money and some would say reality, depending on who you're talking to, what uh, we would do or suggest or throw out there of what could have been or what could be of open announcements this year. Uh, I did it a lot like our reprogramming episodes. Okay. Where I try to have as very few changes as humanly possible to avoid just like dumb, oh, well, we should have gone to Las Vegas and rented out the MGM. And like, that's not what I'm doing. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm staying within the confines of a little change there, a little date here. Obviously, all this is just uh, for fun. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like uh, I like what I got. Of course, okay. I'm a little biased. I'm a little of course biased. you are. Um, I mine. Uh, it's we we do these so differently. It's so funny that I mean I'm sure we'll come up with a lot of the same things, but we That's have such part, different though. avenues of going about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Like here you are. You're like yes, I have everything written down, and you probably have one. Do you have your little white your yellow paper there? Uh, this like yellow I paper. said, exactly <laughs> my point. Whereas I am way more like uh, you're free balling as you said. I, 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 right as you said before, <laughs> I'm free balling right now. Literally, no. Um, I'm just a lot more, I think, ethereal about it. Like it's just um, good word. More, more like con concept. I'm a, I'm, I'm kind of a concept guy. Yeah, big picture. Big picture. I like guy. you're good macro. I go micro, and then you add on your macro view to it. That's the way you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like the uh, outside. Uh, of the Tootsie Roll Pop, and I'm the the chewy inside. Okay. That was a terrible analogy. I'm going to take that. Weird. Back. Yeah. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie? Like the owl. <laughs> One, two, three. three. Dude, we just age. age the shit out of ourselves. Showing wow. our age. Oh my gosh. Um, but before we get there, we'd love y'all's opinions too as we go through this. Like, hey, this would have been cool. It's like, yeah, I want to play the this would have been cool game, the king for a day game. We're not basing this in total reality, but we are doing a, a concept of what could be reality with a, enough planning and circumstance. And we realize that. Um, everyone is hindered by schedules and the reality of that thing too based off who they had to the open but uh, before we get there obviously want to thank Element26 our uh, partner of the show if you scan the QR code on your screen right now that'll take you to the website element26.co it is a one stop shop for all your CrossFit accessory needs thumb tape knee sleeves weight belts hand grips sweat bands knees like everything Everything underneath the sun. So pop over there, give them a look, and then when you guys check out, use the code GWTP15 for 15% off. If you don't want to go to the website and you want some quick shipping, they're also on Amazon. So give them a look, element26.co. So let's look at what we're talking about here, and it is the open announcements. We had three open announcements, starting with 24.1, 2, and 3, the... Um, I would say there was a lot of information given later of maybe where they're going to be, who's going to do the announcements, what the athletes are going to do. And and sometimes that's been um, played close, close to the vest and that. But um, we're going to just spitball, uh, you know, macro, micro ideas and concepts and uh, go from there. So... I'm excited about it. Yeah, it, it, uh, I'm already I'm already seeing that there 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 will be some things because of the way that I I'm seeing how you are moving with this because this was this was your idea for the show and I and I think that it was it was fun to have and whenever we have like if you come up with an idea or if I come up with an idea we're already kind of thinking where it's going to go so mm -hmm. I know you are starting to I know you were starting to pick okay twenty four point one we should have done that 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 twenty four point two that 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 whereas me it was like the announcements I thought this. 
Yes. Yes. Big picture. The announce the open should have been blocked. Mm. So uh um, like Jules's initial one, that's all the show's gonna be. We should have done all of them. Yeah, we're done. Thanks, that's guys. The only change. Thanks Everything else coming, is everybody. perfect. Dear Cross it, you guys are perfect. You can do no wrong. The only thing we do we you know, we love what you did. They're they're amazing. If you just had us on, that's our only um constructive <laughs> criticism. <laughs> I, mean, I, I won't argue with that. I'm just yeah. Uh Ian Beaver, thank you so much. Appreciate oh, that. Thanks, dude. You're thank good, you very dude. much. Good. Very good, dude. We really do appreciate that. If you guys want to join the uh, uh, the train there for support, you can guys you can you can throw us a a bone here and there on uh, during these. But if you guys want to really uh, make a big difference for us, you guys can just join our YouTube channel. All right, click that join button. You don't have to leave right now, but if you want to leave right now and come back, we've got two memberships. We've got our GWP memberships three ninety nine, our Programmatron memberships five ninety nine. A month, stay as long as you'd like to. It's just a way to support us. Uh, and we really sincerely do appreciate each and every one of you guys that pop on there. But um, let's get into it. So my first start of, hey, what would I do, right? I'm not coming from a position of cross it. You should have done this. I'm like, hey, Chase, king for a day. What would you do? I was like, oh, thank you for asking that question, Chase. Uh, this is what I start off with like, if we could get a schedule of where the announcements are going to be held, who is going to be doing them as far as who would be actually announcing the workouts and who the athletes are going to be with six plus weeks advance to garner excitement in the area, who's going to be hosting, who's going to be announcing the events and just more headway there to create more excitement and engagement for the open announcements that's where I would initially start before getting into any of the other details that I was going to get into. Why, uh, for you, what would make that, what would make that cool is knowing that far ahead, just because we could sit here and we could do our speculation game and like come up because the only thing that I saw out of that was when they announced Justin yep. at his place mm -hmm. and either he was doing lunges or that he announced like they talked about it and then there was a video of him doing lunges so like everyone started thinking lunges and so that was like the only real time that like there was yeah piece, like you could start to do the speculation game you know what i mean but why why do, why do you want that so bad so it has nothing about speculation it's just information given so we can get more people there doing an open announcement on a thursday at lunchtime is not exactly the most attended thing if you find out four days before where the open announcement's gonna be. It allows people to plan for this, right? Oh, I mean, as far as going to it. That's yeah. it, it has nothing to do with the programming. Like yeah. none of the things I'm talking about are gonna revolve around programming. Zero on this programming show. Huh. Zero, right? Crazy. Crazy. And, and a lot of this is actually based off, um, I saw Jason CF Media talk about 24.1, and he had this awesome point, and this is actually the basis of this whole show. I was like, shit, let's just do, let's do a whole show about this, was he, he talked about Seth Rollins uh, in week two. And he's like, why didn't we hit up Seth Rollins six to eight weeks before the first open oh, announcement? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, was guys, on the show that, I was on the show with him. You were on the show for that, yeah, right? So yeah, this right, is a basis right. off that. It was... You have this mega, I would say, U.S.-centric superstar from the WWE who has a massive cult following. CrossFit has its own massive cult following. Some of that cross blends with CrossFit fans and WWE fans. Uh, I will not besmirch uh, wrestling fans Thanks. while you're wearing a Cal Poly wrestling That is <laughs> wrestling right. Thank shirt. you very much. Uh -huh. uh, it is not wrestling. It is <laughs> WWE. Wrestling. wrestling. And it's like... Why not leverage someone like Seth Rollins, who has millions of followers? Like, hey, guess what? I'm doing the open. I am signed up for the open. And I am doing the first open announcement. And just go from there, right? The, the, the whole point of the open is obviously get worldwide participation as much as humanly possible to, and, and as we saw over three weeks, a very low barrier of entry to play. So... Why not leverage these people that have massive followings in the space of putting that out there? Hey, I'm doing it. If you guys haven't heard of this, you guys got two months to pop into a CrossFit gym and maybe join the open with me. Yeah. Right. Building that buzz around getting more people signed up. And, and a lot of these things that I'm looking at is 
like I said, it's nothing to do with the programming. It has everything to do with like engagement, excitement, more people involved, more eyes on the table of what we want these open announcements to be. Like we want people to watch this. We want people to sign up. So how do we do that best? And I think that the clear answer is not keeping it a secret. Right. <laughs> it's being uh, very open and public with it. Yeah, no, I, uh, that was one of mine too, as far as like the, if you're going to use, if you're going to use these people, what's up, Jason? Good, good ideas, my friend. If you're going to use these people, you got to use them appropriately. I, I, I would have, I wanted Dave for every announcement. Like I, yeah. that just, that means a lot to me, but if they're going to try to pull a large, um, faction of people mm -hmm. and use someone that has the the outlet reach the outreach that someone like seth rollins has right i i would have liked this is what i would have liked to see you start off i mean i i think they all they the first two should have been this would have been my dream the first two are in affiliates okay but it increases in size and domain and just broadness to where the last one is seth rollins Oh, and okay. I know that Seth, uh, you know, because Josh, Joshy G down there, he he does the Dead Boy programming with with Seth, and yeah, he works with a lot of the other deep into it. Totally, he works with like uh, there's a couple female wrestlers that, that are there with him too. That's right. Yeah. So what I would want to see is a either a small version Coliseum. Some remember we did the one in San Francisco where we had the, the all the champs went out. Yeah. It was a yeah. big same kind of idea, but you have a ring. Mm. And you have you have it set up to where the equipment is in the ring and you have the wrestlers come out in wrestler fashion. Okay. Like but yep. that's the end. That's the end. And like throughout through the whole weeks before that, like shit talking, you know, talking trash about this person, you know, like put out who your wrestlers are going to be at the very end. Mm -hmm. And start, you know, just start it. Start talking. There should be weekly shit talking. I'm yeah. getting ready. I'm going to pound. You may have beaten me in the, in the ring, but I'm going to take this barbell and I'm going to like, if you're going to get that goofy with it, then you should be leaning in mm -hmm. to that. You don't put Seth Rollins in a garage where no one is going to go. That no, that yeah. dude belonged in an arena. So you put exactly what I put down for See Seth's talking use. About? See how we go two different ways and go in. <laughs> but I put him in week one, but I'm going to take, out exactly what you just said and put him in week three because of this reason. Yeah. Right. So I'll, I'll put it like this. A yes. <laughs> okay. <Right. laughs> so, so let me look at 24.1. I'm going to take Seth out of 24.1 and save him for 24.3 and go with what you're saying. But week one, it's Jocko in California and either live? do it at live actually right? live, but Leading up to the open, Dave sits down with Jocko for another podcast and they talk about the open and they talk about CrossFit and they talk about the, the connection between CrossFit training methodology and its roots and its basis in the military, let alone the SEALs. And maybe you have the first open announcement somewhere by Coronado. God, yeah, totally. Right? So you, you, you lean into this huge military service. Why? Because before the open started, we tar started talking about the service open is back. Right. Right. So now you have a promotional tool for this, again, months, maybe two months out. And now this all hinders on his availability and, and things like that. But again, king for a day, taking somewhat of reality of schedules out of the conversation. Jocko, podcast, Dave, open, CrossFit military roots and then start pushing the service open along with that on a podcast with Jocko and it's all hard charging to 24.1 and in 24.1 maybe you find four athletes that you are veterans or currently serving that are popular in the sport and maybe not popular in the sport but enough to where they're going to have a good showing yeah. and use something as basic as 24.1 that can be done in such the smallest footprint possible and maybe you like we did it on an air force base i was just going to say we've done military against military there before are affiliates right near yeah the that area, right. <laughs> that area that you could have just dived into. Yeah. Right. And then you pack it out and we have this whole thing in the golden barbell service thing. That's, that's a part of all week one and it's huge. And you lean on Jocko for that. Yeah. And I, I think that, it, um, I, I thought we were talking about the, uh, 
known well ahead of time. I, I was thinking more of the athletes, but you're right. If if we are talking about the people that are going to be headlining the show, not the athletes, because if it's athletes, everyone starts speculating what the event is. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about the people that are announcing, um, right. and if Dave isn't going to do all of them, then that would have been a perfect position to have Dave bring Jocko in military to military to where mm -hmm. you basically are handing him the torch kind of a thing. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, and then right. and let Jocko be not, yes. not nice guy, but be a fucking drill sergeant, dude. Yes. Like, I mean, okay. I, I want to hear like, okay, where I remember Jocko from is every once in a while he'd pop up on my Instagram where mm -hmm. he'd do the 430. He'd take the picture of his watch, 430. Jocko out. Yeah. Like, I'm like, that kind of fires Fire. me up. Right. So if that's the case, we're getting Dave. We get Dave's talk, Dave's stuff, and then Dave call, you know, Dave brings a military brother up mm -hmm. and you, you're right. You hard charge it and you get some military badasses out there wearing, wearing their combat boots and their, what do they call them? Combat panties, a little short shorts with their, oh, their, whatever they're called, whatever they're, yeah. And they're, Go Ruck makes them. So they're yeah. a perfect little slap on there. You can do that. Right, we're already partnering with GoRuck as the official apparel and shoe sponsor totally. for CrossFit, which is deep rooted in the military. Right, and and it can be that you are having them, and you, I mean, I do personally, I like to see uh, the bad, like the the our our top dogs out there. Mm -hmm. So you have one of them out there to basically kind of run the show for whatever. So it's not two, like two top one, dogs and two military current. Something. Current. What I think, if we, if I think though, if they go two stars. Then that then takes the we are now watching the whoever's commentating mm. is going to be looking at the two stars, oh, not yeah. at the two military. But if we have two or three military and the one star, a a star, sure. whatever. I, and I don't mean every week, but this week, you know, this particular week. Lean into the theme. Lean into it. Lean man. into it. It's our I mean, shit, foundation. Have it, have yeah. it down. It, have it outside it like one of the uh, obstacle course things, if you want. You know, I mean, I know we want to try to push everyone to affiliate, but like, right. you can lean into That's it. Like, there, are, but there, there, there are affiliates in that area that are very close to it, and I, I think affiliates, sure, and I love the, the, the building of scale that you had there. The one thing I would love there, too, is like, if you want to have Dave introduce Jocko, fine. If I'm going like, okay, now we're in it, you have whoever the host is, and before the even the athletes come out, there's a promo video of Jocko just doing Jocko things right, and saying right. Jocko things. And you know what that video could come from? Him waking up that morning at 4.30 and you have a crew there and it just shows the buildup of the whole day, him getting on. Like you just build this whole video of him, of his day. Yeah. And with a little voiceover, 60 seconds, and then he comes out, right? He comes out and it's just pandemonium. It's Jocko. He grabs the mic and he introduced the four athletes that are taking the stage and only the way Jocko can do. And he says, three, two, one, go. Yeah. yeah that's Chandler, cool. look, get, get, just get games, games, level athletes, team indie doesn't matter that are veterans or currently serving. Yeah. And we have plenty to choose from. Right. And yeah, Chandler Smith. Great. <laughs> Open announcement. We watch that, but have him come out and he's like, Welcome to 2024 CrossFit Open. You know, this athlete, whatever, Jocko E. <laughs> right? Yeah. And he brings him out. And then he goes through the workout the way he does, live and in person, on a board the way he wants to. And he says, three, two, one, go. And then we party. Yeah. And we've kicked it off in the most freaking servicey, open CrossFit, OG, military, America. I know it's a worldwide, I get it. But like, you know, it's like, Give ourselves some freaking teeth right from the start. Totally, and so that 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 does. I think that does a hand. It does a handful of things. It it you know a little tip of the hat to our service people, which, yeah. which we have always done. There's always been such a tight connection with military and law and fire and CrossFit. There always has. Mm -hmm. um, not what's crazy is everyone thinks that that's where it started. That is not where it started. We took it because we realized. How fucking awesome it was! Sorry, yep. I, I need to change. I've been told I need to watch I my know, language now. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, but we we took that because we saw what it did and how how uh, potent it was. Mm -hmm. um, and and so you know the military and all the service people adopted that. So yeah. it isn't a 
you know, America, I mean, cool America, but yeah. it's not specifically to that. It's to all the service people that are out there having to become a superhero for whatever. And you lean into it. You don't do this three person competition, this competition of three events beforehand. No, that, that's a, that's next week. Uh, that's uh, next week. Done. I, next I don't week. want anything with that. This to me is old school. It is gritty. It is loud. It's fun. It's, mm -hmm. um, I, it's just abrasive enough to be what CrossFit yep. of old is. All and right. that's, and that's what this year is supposed to be about. Like coming back to that. Yes. And it's new it. and it's fresh and it's everything that Dave asked it to be. Uh, and, and this is what I was just thinking about. And Jason put this in there is okay. Uh, pick a athlete in the games that has, if any service open participant, like pick the fittest firefighter, police officer, military, uh, either current or post, and like the, like just pick different services, so one of each, so that can be a part of that athlete in there, because then you start drawing attention to what they do yeah. outside of CrossFit. So say it's like, all right, we got uh, Chandler Smith, and he's ex army, and then you have. Uh, current police officer and a firefighter, maybe an EMT, whatever, whatever the four are, but make sure that they're all in one of those services that are part of the service open. open and that's how you pick your athletes for week one. Yeah, sure. And then you just throw down. So that's, that's week one. Uh, uh, okay. So I have one of the thing that I've attached to actually it's, it's to all of them, but this okay. is, this is kind of one of my overreaching that I saw in every single thing was, um, I do feel that there needs to be, and uh, Jason Grubb was talking about this. He's like, you know, uh, there there was an opportunity that was missed by not having masters athletes, not having um, mm. the adaptive athletes where they can kind of showcase that they, we know that they've been kind of pushed to their different segments, you know, their, their different tracks, if you will, um, to where the game's going to be and their semifinals, all that type of thing. Um, and he was wanting them to be in. What I would like to have happen is that, when the main show is happening, yeah. every, every, there are a contracted out other group, whether it's Taylor versus the world for an open event where you have, you know, not the best of the best, but you have Taylor and someone awesome like that, you know, just like what mm -hmm. Sevon did, you have the wheel wad crew doing their thing and that yeah. you can basically have those two windows happening at the bottom to where you can go and pick each one of those. And so no matter how you do it, and I don't know how it would happen broadcasting wise, yeah. but you can pick one of the three, you can pick the main show. You can pick Taylor versus the world, which is the third party show Sevon do it. And then you have the wheel wad going on at the same time, or you, you can actually have the legends going on too, where okay. the legends group do one. So basically from that main show, you can pick whatever window you're wanting to go to. And you always have your four boxes. You have the one that you're watching, whatever one that is, and the other three happen in at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that everyone is like happening at the same time. Kind of like that multicast view that Rogue put out. Yeah, just like that. Just okay. something just like that. Okay. Um, I think that that would be it would be really fun because it brings everybody in, it pulls everybody to the main announcement. Mm -hmm. It allows everyone to have their announcement. Like the, the main show would give a, a, a X amount of time to have the announcements happen on in the other three elements. And then everyone three, two, one go and everybody goes. So okay. you can all kind of see what's happening again. It pulls everybody in. Yep. I don't think it would detract from what we're trying to do on the military side as far as pulling everyone in, but that way it doesn't allow for anyone or any group to feel like, well, like, like, like the wheelwad crew. Yeah. Dude, I didn't hear a damn thing about wheel. I don't know what the work, I, there was a point where I was trying to figure out. They did a out, great job though, doing I, their own thing. I, I'm, I, I, dude, I honestly don't know what they did. I, I, I and, and, and that's not, that, and I'm not saying them. Yeah. They it's did. Not I didn't see it. I totally. <laughs> and I, I, not that I think that any other division should have the main show other than the, like the main floor other than the main show. But it's like, yeah. why not make it to where we're promoting? This is how you promote those other groups. I think on the CrossFit side is yep. okay. Yeah. We, we're, we're fit. We're going to farm these out, but we're going to promote you. We're going to put you all in the same thing. So everyone can see what's going on. Yep. Anyway, that's what I was thinking. All right. Week one, Jocko do it podcast. Yes. In California. He announces the athletes. 
he announces the workout. Leading up to announcement point one, going to what you were talking about, and we'll save this for the end, you have Seth Rollins, who is already going to be told that he's doing the final open announcement, and his crew of athletes, four of them, doing a pre-trash talk open video that CrossFit produces and just puts up on the board. Let me Week ask you this. Over. Let, me ask you. Huh. Let me ask you this. Do you want him to announce the workout? Or know that he is going to be one of Seth or have that he's one of the athletes in the workout. To where he gets to call out to where he gets to call out. See, I almost I almost want it to be I here's what here's how I see it. Okay. I want it to be that he's going to be the announcer. Dave's going to announce him and he's going to be the one that's announcing it and he's going to do all that. Yeah. And people start people start t- trash talking to him. Ooh. And then in a classic wrestling form, he announces it and he's like, and I'm going to take you on. And boom, he jumps in the workout. All right. We're right skipping there. ahead. Is that not cool? Okay. So That's that awesome. So cool. Say, okay. We're bringing oh, that gosh. back. I love that. Yeah. All right. Bring that back. Now, after week one, between week one and week two, and by Wednesday, when the scores are due, you get their little wrestling crew together and then they start yapping at each other again oh, based yeah. off oh, yeah. who beat who. Yo, yes. You got your, you got, we got our little own side thing going on with this crew. Yeah. And even yeah. if you're not a fan of wrestling, everybody can be a fan of dudes and chicks talking shit to each other. Stuff totally. to each other. Stop. Right? You, I, no, I'm going to have a hard time with that. Maybe I don't care. Is it really going to get that much exposure? We don't even talk that bad. Come on. No, we don't. All right. So that's in between. Now we go to week two. And I am saying, now that you put Seth at the end, I'm saying this is when Dave comes out. Dave's doing week two. We got to have Dave yeah, at least yeah. once. Jocko totally. did week one. Yeah. Dave's coming in to do week two. We're going to Proven. Okay? We're going to Proven. We went there. It's big. It's great. We're announcing that Dave is going to do the announcement well ahead of time, which is going to get more people excited. They're going to want to show up, and they, they, they come in there. And it's just your run-of-the-mill open announcement. It's it's just it's a week two. It's got all the space in the world. Therefore, you don't have to smash people in to do the workout. Uh, Tia could have actually done this one. <laughs> yeah, Tia could have actually done this one. Uh, now they didn't know that, so I'm just saying. You know, we're just armchair quarterback in the day after, whatever. But you you announce that it's going to be there plenty of time ahead. Why? Because it's go, people need to schedule around this. this is in the middle of the day in the United States. So wherever it's going to be, people's like, oh, it's at, you know, if it's, if it's at proven, then it's 2 p.m. Central yeah, or it's yeah. 2 p.m. where we're at and where they're at. That's not the easiest thing to do at a Thursday. <laughs> people work. But if you gave them some time to plan, I'm sure everyone is like, listen, I'm going to just come off work for two hours and pop over here. More people involved. It's Dave Castro. He's back. You've got your own thrills to come out. And we go from there. Uh, totally. I, I actually thought the exact same thing. In that order, actually. So I, I like that because it's classic. Um, the stuff that I would have Dave do on this one, and I like it at Proven, mm-hmm. um, is hyping everybody up with his um, clue. Yes. To where you win. Uh, this isn't like a, you win a golden barbell. You win an assault bike. You win a something. Remember he used to do that? He's like, oh, I did this workout. If you can remember, if you can say exactly oh, what I did, mm-hmm. you could get this. Mm-hmm. If, first, if you're the first one to guess my time or whatever, you would get this bike, this assault bike, this echo bike, this whatever. Um, to do something like that and really hype everyone up. Even, yep. even if you're like, okay. Um, uh, so you, he would have to come up with whatever the clues would be either if he wanted it to be like you have to say exactly what the workout is or you have to la- name the movements or something mm-hmm. but but again getting everyone in it's it's about engagement yeah and that's how you get people engaged and i mean look how look at what was talked about uh, of the three announcements that were out mm-hmm. you had the mushroom right you had the uh Doug eating the chicken wing yeah what, what was the other one Oh, the the slide, uh, the, the little puck knocking over the pond. Yes, yes. Like everybody talks about those, but now when when you can win something with it, mm-hmm. like you know, I don't think you'll just double the amount. 
you're going to triple the amount. You're going to quadruple the amount of people just throwing out ideas. Right. Oh, dude, that would be so fun. All right, so that's week two. And maybe week two, you make it more localized. I mean, shoot, if we went to Justin's garage and we invited Justin to it, maybe you go to Proven and it's four Proven athletes, two men, two women. You got Colton Mertens coming back. You just won week one. Like, that all worked out great. Yeah. And you got Mertens, Tia, Sydney, and is Jay Crouch one of their athletes as well? He's local, right? Yeah, he is. All right, there you go. You got all the space in the world. Everybody can do it. It's 24.2. And you've got Jay and you got all the proven athletes. So now there's even more excitement because they're all together. They basically already did it. And you have Dave do the announcements and you just make it just a good open announcement. I mean, look how many people came to the first one. Right. Look, how, look at the engagement on the first one with Dave doing Dave stuff. Mm -hmm. That would be his one shot to do. I mean, he's like, I don't really want to really do him. Okay, fine. He wanted to do one. This would be his one. And then he can kind of, you know, for the most part, kind of stand down after that. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that. I Classic. I mean, the first one got our grit back. This yeah. is our classic back. Yeah. Everyone's and it's still and fired up. Facility and we're, you know, it's, it's not exactly what normal affiliate life is, but you already went there. So we're keeping that in there. We're not trying to change a whole bunch of stuff. And it's Dave's right. unveiling. Well, we're, but we're trying to grow, it. right? We're trying to, we're trying to go from, we're trying, we're scaling up from, Military affiliate to a monster affiliate mm. arena. to arena. And the arena that you go to is Dickie's Arena because you're moving to Fort Worth. <laughs> what a great idea. I never thought of that. Amazing. Wow. And here's the cool thing. Let me try to <laughs> see if I can find the footprint there. You're not going to rent out Dickie's Arena. We get that. But there is something... Oh, I should have looked this up beforehand because now you just pop that in my brain. Fort Worth. Let's see. Images. See outside. No, that's not going to help. So you, you, you come to Fort Worth. Ah, here it is. This is great. All right. Now, this is Dickie's Arena in Fort Worth. This is where it's going to be. This is a pavilion right here. See this little guy? Yeah. That thing is way bigger than you think. It's about the size of an affiliate. It's right next to Dickie's arena. You can pack that thing to the gills with little grandstands. You build your little mock wrestling ring Right, you put a four pull-up bars. Dude, make it, make it a cage. Put it, make you it just, a cage. You put four pull-up bars, and I'm just thinking cost-effective, right? Yeah, totally, I get it. Four pull-up bars is in Fort Worth, Texas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what he says. <laughs> that's what he says. We always inflate that. Uh, it's like an old fishing story. Um, you, you make a mock arena, mock arena, a, a mock. Wrestling arena. arena, not a flooring, right? You just the ropes and whatever, like rope it around. Okay. You put your pull up rig in there that they normally used to do. You've got four top athletes coming in. I don't care who they are, whoever they are, right? And the day, and then they come out and they do the unveiling of Seth Rollins. We know he's coming. We don't know where he is. We haven't seen him yet, but the lights go out, the fog machines turn on, and I feel like this is a wrestling thing. I don't watch it, but I've heard. His music plays. His music plays, the lights, the lasers. He walks out in the only, in like, maybe like full Seth regalia, like he was in Colt, uh, Justin Medeiros' garage that got wasted on 13 people. He walks out in the middle of this mock arena. He has a mic in his hand, and then he does his Seth Rollins thing, welcoming the crowd. And he's going to get a bit more cheers than, the, than he did in week two. And then Seth announces every athlete in the way that he wants to. All four. Whatever he wants to say, Iron Hog, that was freaking great. Whatever he wants to do, just it's a show. It, right? He comes out, does his WW thing, brings out the athletes, and then he announces the workout. Right? And then they go. And it's just this grand finale. We're back. It's a show. It's entertainment. And you've got Seth freaking Rollins coming out there. 
and just doing his thing in Fort Worth, Texas, outside the doors of Dickey's Arena, because this is where the games are going, a different location for the first time since 2017, and we celebrate coming to Texas at the doorstep of which the, be, will be the home of the CrossFit Games this year. That's week three. Uh, I, I don't want four athletes. I, want? Me, personally, I'm king for a day. <laughs> uh i want i want uh that it was gonna be a wrestler okay um seth seth was it is, it is, here's the storyline seth is going to be announcing two superstar athletes okay whoever they are um one of the other wrestlers over the course of the open has been talking trash to seth the whole time Mm. He shows up after Seth announces in this person and that, and because and finally, this is what was this would is what is going to be cool is he can be loud like he's supposed to. You can he, he was it was funny watching him trying to be sort of loud but not really loud in a garage. It was yeah. like it was so muted it was bad. But you have him where he gets to announce these athletes and then from the corner is wrestler X, Seth Rollins. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, like they come out with their own mics. Okay. Yeah. Each wrestler comes out with their own mics. Yep. Ooh. And then they come out. So okay. then you have this banter that's happening. It's, again, it's the show. Um, Seth, you know, take, you know, whatever. Ah, God, you think I've got you? I'm going to get it. Ah, he gets out. He, so now they're all going. Dave mm -hmm. ends up calling, coming out, calling three, two, one, go so that they go. So it's Seth and whatever wrestlers are there. You have your you have your superstars, but again, because you have the other events happening, you if like if the show is too wrestling for you, cool. Yeah. You saw what the workout is. It got announced. You know what's going to be. Then you can go over to Taylor versus the world, and you can watch Taylor take on whoever he's taking on that week. If you okay. really want to watch like someone like that, or if you want to watch the Masters, you know, get after it, you can watch them do it, or the Wheel Wad. You have those abilities. But mm -hmm. it is a show. It is loud. It is brash. It is, you know, trash talking. It is fun, and then yeah. everybody gets to go. And I mean, like I would want even, like, of course we would be doing the broadcasting of, of these shows because yes, we would be getting into it because you would need to have commentators that are on board, right? That are on for it, man, that are like excited and they start also trash talking back and forth. And, and I mean, getting it, it's got to be, it's the show. <laughs> what so, zombie. Thank you. King for a day. Don fall dresses Vic man. Yeah. Awesome. Whatever. Awesome. I mean, dude, that would be so, that would be You're so right. fun. You're oh right. my gosh. What a, what a cool heel turn. Yeah. Seth calls out maybe look, it was like scrap the games athletes. Okay. Seth come, pulls out three, three, right? Yeah. Three of the athletes that he's been talking trash with on social media that cross it's been pushing for the last three weeks before they open after 24.1 after 24.2, they're all round table and they've got their scores. They're all doing it. All right, and then you take those three. Seth brings them out. They all got their mics, and maybe one by one, they just they're talking trash. They're doing their thing, and then Seth is like, "You know what? I'm gonna take you all on." Load another barbell. Yeah, dude, right? the crowd would go nuts. Load I would another go nuts. barbell. I, don't even like wrestling. I would go nuts. <laughs> I don't care for wrestling whatsoever, but I'm still getting like chills about it. Load a bar. <laughs> it's on. It's on, and then it pans to the, you know, this, and then the, and then there's like some pre makers like the the glass breaks on the TV. We cut to commercial, and it's like Seth Rollins is back, and this little montage thing of his career and what he's done, and you know maybe it's while they're warming up, it's like a five minute video of like how important CrossFit is to Seth, and like maybe it's a real promo video using the athletes we're about to watch throw down and how important CrossFit is to them on a personal level. Maybe that's your mid -roll, B roll video. Once Seth says he's coming on board, don't even waste breaths of the announcers. Just sit down and make these athletes real. Hey, the CrossFit is the only reason why I can travel the way I travel and keep my body in shape for the things that I do. And I'm part of this program and I'm actually part of the community and you make them real and then you cut back. And then there's Dave holding the mic. Three, two, one, go. And we just have fun. <laughs> <It's hiding>. <laughs> 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 wow. 
Yes. Oh man. <laughs> I'll I'll subscribe under one of my aliases. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that little pavilion was there. That's awesome. Yes, dude. It's right I mean, there. I mean, you don't need to rent this out, dude. It's that the was middle a, of the day. Nobody's using it. That was a miss. This, we're, this is a fantastic. new place that we're going to. How could you not? How could you not? And then it's just, and then the lead up, right? The days leading up, you hit all the local affili affiliates in the area. You have these athletes, these wrestlers, and these superstars visit local affiliates, and we just draw attention to all that. Easy, Wad Zombie. I feel like that was kind of the point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, whoa. easy, easy. If you got to tell her, uh, we go back to the old fishing story, I guess. Uh, <laughs> McLovin. But man, I know schedules, money, whatever it is, but we're playing king from a day. This is a what if, what it could be. We're just basing this in entertainment. It doesn't have to be in reality. But damn, could it? Right? Jocko week one, lean into the military service open. Use a bunch of service members that are games athletes that have a great history to talk about. Do a little 60-second video of each one. Do one of Chandler and what it, means to, what it means to him and how he thinks. Like, I mean, we're already doing the Army Ignite program. Why not have him in there and be a part of that? Then you have a p police, fire, whatever. Of those four that you pick that are games athletes that have service open, they're in there. And you push it. And all this outside in between entertainment with Seth, knowing he's going to be on the final week and we just think it's going to be this great show. And then he comes in and does, like you said, that was great, man. That was a great idea. Great yeah, idea. You think about like every like UFC fights, wrestling matches, whatever. I mean, like you have Seth at the first one. He's in the crowd. He's got mm -hmm. his glasses on like he's taking notes. Like yeah. He's watching what's happening. Like, oh, I see. Like the Clubber Lang style when he used to watch like Rocky. He's like in the crowd yeah. just watching like, eh. Gonna get just kidding. And that, that'd be great little gimmicks. I mean, how many old gimmicks? Do we, remember the, like, um, the old open promos? Like, oh, it might have been like 14, 15. Remember the one with like Pat Barber's running through the woods? Yes. The, man, the manimal. Yeah. You know, and it was an open <laughs> promo commercial. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, it would be, uh, there's so many fun things you could do with that. Mm -hmm. But I, the, I mean, even, even if, even if you had to, uh, okay, if you if you're still gonna throw the, you know, small team thing out there, and it's like you know the the amount of time it would take to do blah blah blah. I mean, I, I think if you were to get one of the superstar, you get you get Tyson, you get um, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking on her name. What's his chick's name? His wife's name? Oh, um, Mariah. Yeah, Mariah. You get Sevon out there. I mean, Sevon's got a million shows, but I mean, it, you, any of any of those that have like done the stuff, mm -hmm. Torian. I mean, any of those guys. You, you, Torian, you get those guys. They can kind of do that. They can kind of cut the little things up over the six weeks. Short. It's just fun goof banter. Yeah, yeah. it'd be so easy. We're waiting weekly after the submission window of the next trash talk video. Yeah. Oh man. I just say I'm Yeah, Tyson Bajan, Travis Bajan. What if you had Travis come in? <laughs> what if that man, was week man. two? Man. I, I mean, we would like that because we know who he is. I, I don't think a lot of people know who he is, but he has such an attitude and presence about him anyway. It wouldn't matter if you knew who he was or not. He would come in and all of a sudden you'd be like, oh dang. Save him for the last one. This guy's here. Right? Say Seth drops the mic and he's like, screw it, I'm doing it. And, and they're like, well, who's going to MC? Who's, if, like, who's going to MC this now? And then you're, and then you, like, Travis has his own hey, mic. Hey, Gabe, give me that mic. Has his gruff voice. Like, give me that I mic. I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> oh, one, one, bomb yeah, one bomb after the other. One bomb after the other. Golly. It would it would be so fun. It would be so fun. It would be, it would be. Um, and what's funny is it would be um so fun mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. that it would be like if you had your birthday party as a kid and you you got like a hot air balloon ride when you're like 13 and then your 14th year it's like your parents are like well shit what the hell are we gonna do after that yeah like we're not gonna be able to we're, we're not gonna be able to beat that there's no way yeah but but I mean I, yeah what a great you know, like uh, John George is like there's like five spots like there's five rig spots and there are only three athletes. Like, oh, yeah. that doesn't make sense. And then Seth does his thing. And it's yeah. like, well, now we need an MC. What are we supposed to do now? And then, like, out of the background, here comes Travis Speed. As he just kind of like, moving his way through the I'll people. do it, but I got one request. <laughs> my boy Tyson. My boy's going to do it, too. <laughs> and oh wearing my, my T-shirt. Gosh. He's going to wear my rogue T-shirt. <laughs> It'll just be so <laughs> big on him. <laughs> oh, that would be, oh, man, dude, it would be so fun. I think we talked so much we talked so much before the open started about how important this particular open was to CrossFit mm-hmm. because yeah. of all of the things that have happened and mm-hmm. all of the I don't know if I want to be in, I don't know if I want to pay, I don't know if this is this, I don't know if this is for the general population. I don't know. Everyone was questioning everything. Yeah. And something that outlandish and loud it would be so it. fun it would just yeah, i i think i really honestly do believe that it would like wash a lot of stuff. not for everybody mm-hmm. of course but it would wash a lot of stuff out of the way almost to the fact that i think that you could have like like outside news sources picking Ooh. up on the goofiness sure like oh my like WWE wrestlers throwing down CrossFit style in their in the largest fitness competition in the world. Mm-hmm. Here's a little cut of you know Seth being all loud and crazy and pyrotechnics and uh, dude, come on, yeah. Like I, I mean, I when when with all of the stuff with CrossFit, they always say like you know what people will say, what do you want CrossFit to do with for you as an affiliate mm-hmm. owner? All I want is I want HQ. Right to tell outside people about us. That's all mm-hmm. I want. Make this us would look do cool. That. This would do that. The whole thing, Jocko. <laughs> Come on, week one, Megan yeah. CrossFit cool. Yeah, is that a shirt? Make CrossFit cool again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and you know what I love about that is because now that we're in the new open. Right, there's little limit, limited pressure, the stress of it. It's not that serious anymore. It's actually fun, and we can all attack it in a level which we want to. Right, there's right. not as much on the line as a positive. If you make the last week so fun, it changes the whole tone of the open. It's yeah. Like, oh my gosh, yeah, it, 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 we are having fun. Because uh. it, in the, man, it. It's increasing in intensity and velocity and excitement as you go towards the end rather than explosion on the first one and trying to hold on by the end. Right. Which is right. what we have normally done. Yeah, I mean, well, with the five week, happened? it was really hard. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of been that way. But if you can build, especially in a three week, come on. Mm-hmm. It should be an increase to the third week. Yeah. What did we, uh, I, what were the numbers? It was like, it dropped like 20% every week. Is, wasn't it something like that? Prior to? No, this like this like year? this this open. We had a good number watching. I can't remember what the numbers were. A good number watching. Oh, I think there was uh, a drop and then there was a drop. No, it dropped 50%. Oh my God. Well, also, I guess before we should have even got to week three, goes without saying is don't release the workout early. <laughs> <laughs> that that would help viewership. Um. No, it was it was up to two hundred con- like live concurrent viewers in week two for twenty four point two, and I think a hundred to one hundred and fifteen max in week three. Wow! But that's also with the workout getting leaked or released early, not leaked, released early, um, and the the stream locking up three or four times. Like it was just rough. That was a rough week three for them, dude. It was a rough week three. Yeah. And all those things could have happened with these little king for a day ideas, which is why I said it was like we're living in entertainment, not reality at the moment. But dang, it only took us 50 minutes to spitball that. 
Well, okay. The the cool thing about what we just did is it's similar to like um, like when we had Dylan on the show and we were talking about Wadapalooza mm -hmm. and they realized that they couldn't use the the base side the way that they wanted to. So they're like, dude, we gotta come up with an idea. Oh, we gotta yeah. come up with something. And they just started spitballing ideas and mm -hmm. then they grew into the barge, you know, and, and the idea of the barge and trying to come up with something like that. Like barge is awesome. It seems like this is one of those types of things. I mean, you, 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 you yeah. come up with now, like, we're not we're not hindered by budget and schedules and timing. No, no, I understand all that. But what you do is you talk, you talk, and you think like what we just did, completely outside the box, right? And then you start to build the box around that to see what you're able to do and see what. All right, well, okay, so we can't get the arena, but what other, what other thing can we do? Or we're still yeah. trying to keep this particular vein, or. What kind of pool do these people have? I mean, Seth Rollins, all he, yeah, he's the world champ. I get it. I'm sure the guy's got some pool for something. Yeah. I mean, for something. And it, it thing, doesn't... You don't need all of Dickies because it would be a waste of space. It's like having a 10,000 square foot gym and 10 people in your class. Totally. And by the way, like I, I said, is this little pavilion is way, it's big. Is wrestling big in Texas? Yes. I mean, I mean we've had a lot of um oh I didn't pull this out. This little this little guy. It's not a little guy. Um yeah, they've had a lot of Seth's come to town several times. He actually chained up my he came to my affiliate a couple times. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it's funny, the first time he came, this was like early early on in our um gym days. So, like 14, 15, maybe. Wow. And uh like, hey, this guy, someone had hit me up. I think it was, I don't think it was Baker. Oh, no way. Yeah. I heard that. Uh, he hit me up. He's like, hey, um, the WWE smash whatever is coming into town. It was like the biggest thing of the year, and they're having it at Cowboy Stadium. And he's like, he, he wants to work out there. Oh, maybe it was Josh. I don't know. And I was like, yeah, sure, you can come by the gym. And I just told him, my coach, like, hey, can you open it up for this guy? <laughs> for this guy, whatever, is just some yeah. dude. Yeah, but I didn't know who it was. And I was like, oh, that's that guy came to my gym. And then a few of the other ones came. Some Swiss dude. I don't know. But yeah. I, but I was so tired. I'm like, I'm not coming up to the gym for this dude. <laughs> so I told one of my other coaches to do it. But he, I think you could pack that so easy. Easy. You know, free entrance. Yeah. I mean, even if you want to make it, I don't know, if, if you had to do $3, $5, whatever to get in. Right, but you do that during the day. It starts at two. It's over by three or four, and then you have some type of affiliate owner dinner catered there on site. Yeah. Later. I mean, anyway, God, that would be stupid. That'd be so king fun. for a day. King for a day. Yes, that is exactly who it was. Thanks, Kenneth Cicero. Uh, <laughs> He's big. Um, Seth isn't that big, huh? I don't know. No, he's not small. Well, I mean, like, I remember when he was doing the announcement, he didn't look that much bigger than, than Justin. Oh, well, yeah. Justin's not that big. I don't know. Well, no. Um, all right, let's see. Seth Rollins. Height. 6'1". No. no. Really? That's what it says. I mean, I would think you would have to be at least that size. I would, but I was shocked when I'm watching. Maybe the man bun and the... The big uh, sparkles on the jacket made him look shorter or something. I couldn't tell. Yep. It says 6'1". Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. He's 37. Oh. Nice. But, yeah, that was it. Speaking of Dylan, I'm going to interview him in, like, an hour on the Crossing oh, no podcast. No way. Yeah, we're going to talk about the West Coast Classic moving back to Carson. Speaking of game sites. Yeah. I'm so excited for that. Dude, that you guys should be too. To see the tennis stadium, dude, it, it, with some all light. It's like, gosh, I wish I would have been there when you have an opportunity. So, yeah, I'll be yeah. interviewing Dylan uh, live on the Cross Against podcast here uh, in about forty-five minutes, actually. Oh, dang, so, that'll be cool. You guys that are here, ahead. come come over and say hi. Say hi to Dylan. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, that's our king for the day. Uh, we have another episode coming up to, let's see, Friday? Yeah. So Friday, let's see, what do we got coming up? Ooh, yes. Let's see if, I, if I'm on here. We got a lot of things coming up. 
If you guys don't know what we have coming up, go to our main page. Go to Get With The Programming on YouTube. Click our page. Upcoming live streams. Uh, we have several. Don't worry about this, uh, that little thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but on Friday, we've been talking about our Get With The Programming strength of field system that we did for all three weeks. That's coming back for quarterfinals. Don't worry. It's coming back. But the question that was posed to me, or I would say the, the limitation that was posed to me, is that it's not possible to manage all the open scores to make this possible. This system that is indeed more exciting, more engagement, more accurate to what the strength of field system really is. And to that challenge, I said, accepted. And Are you going to bring him on the show? Are you going to ask him? No. Uh, I am going to show exactly how we can create an easy system to manage these scores for the elite athletes that are taking on the open and quarterfinals going towards semifinals. And we will unveil what that checks and balance system for judging and scorekeeping and video viewing looks like so that once again, it's just a matter of putting in a little work to make the season a lot better. So that will be Friday. Next week, we'll do King for a Day again. We'll visit the Golden Barbell. That whole concept. I have a whole nother yellow pad sheet of paper <laughs> on a golden. If we want to keep it, if we want to keep whatever that was, spice things up, change it up, whatever Dave wanted, I have, some, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'd like to hear your idea too. So we'll exchange exchange ideas and then after that so next week quarterfinals will uh you can register for quarterfinals starting on the first so that'll be on monday um that wednesday bill and i are going to talk about how important quarterfinals is going to be and without being too what is it, hyperbolic or using too much hyperbole? I would argue this is the most important stage of competition ever programmed outside of finding the fittest on earth. Because of the new format, what's on the line, the limited spots available at semifinals, the, the 25% that are now in a new pool of quarterfinals that used to be 10%. We're going to talk all about what's coming up for quarterfinals and what's on the line for CrossFit when it comes to programming quarterfinals. That'll be the discussion that we will have next week. So follow us on YouTube, get for the programming, please just hit the like, hit the subscribe. Yes. And if you want to hit join, that's fine too. That'd be great. Not necessary. We love you guys anyways. We're glad you're here, but that'll be it. We got a lot of stuff coming. And we do. I can't wait for that one. And we do have one major thing coming in about a couple weeks. In a couple weeks, I think we're. Uh, I think it's. I think the first show is built. Really, Heidi, you can like it as many times as you want. This is like right. Just, okay, just keep clicking. <laughs> just keep uh, clicking. Uh, I, along with Barkley and Jr., have created what will be the greatest CrossFit game show ever created. And we will have our first show in a couple weeks between team quarterfinals and indie quarterfinals. But it is going to be so awesome. Unlike anything in the space, there's a lot of great shows out there. Uh, I believe Around the Whiteboard is coming up later today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't say that, Heidi. You said that. You said that. Those are your words. That's your potty mouth. <laughs> but I don't know. Let me check. Is, uh, is Pedro's show on today? Wednesday. Uh, it's Yeah, it's on Wednesdays, right? Yeah. Upcoming live streams, 27th. Yes, so 3 p.m. So my show with Dylan will be on the Cross the Gains podcast at 2, which is 43 minutes from now. And when that is over, we'll be off in time for Coffee Pods and Wads around the whiteboard with Caroline Prevo, I believe that's Aunt Haynes, and Colton Mertens. 
Dang. is going to be on the show. And one of the topics it says is, do people need individual programming? So we got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, Bill said it? Okay, yeah. And well, I, I, I said I, I, clicking. Clicking. Old wishful thinking over there. Old Freud. <laughs> That's right. Old a little, Freud. little Freudian slip. <laughs> But uh, all right, that'll do it for us here today. Thank you guys so much. We will see you on Friday, same time, same place, talking about perfecting the judging and accountability of our Get With The Programming Strength of Field system. It will happen. It can be done. I believe it. It can be done. It can be done. I don't know why I'm talking like a president. I have president's hands right now. <laughs> I have president's hands. But uh, thank you guys so much. Go check out the Cross Against podcast here in about 40 minutes with Dylan Malitsky as we talk all about the West Coast Classic coming back to Carson, California. And make sure you go hit up Coffee Pods and Wads an hour after that for Around the Whiteboard. Tonight, Spin Show will go live with JR, uh, John Young and Tyler Watkins, the man behind the Heat One app. And I'm looking forward to seeing what all the things they get to talk about. Probably, I don't know, the open leaderboard for the women might be a hot topic. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you Friday.